Hello everybody, this is Emma Void, back once again with another episode of my Book Snacks Let's Play. Um, if I sound a little weird, it's because I'm a bit under the weather at the moment, but hopefully I can still manage alright despite that. So, let's, uh, let's figure out where we were, right? Okay, so we still need to get Triffany and Floofty to talk to Chan, though. And we still also need to check in on both of them. So, since Floofty's right here, has gone. Blast it all! I do not need your distractions. I've obtained dried particles of plant slurry, but I have no way to analyze them. It's like living in the Stone Age out here. Perhaps if I had a particle separator, an electron microscope, and a degree in botany. <laughs> mm, bah. Plants are not my area of expertise. Okay, uh, we, we do know an herbalist. You cannot be serious. I would sooner eat my bow tie than listen to a word of Shelda's advice. Well, that's not very scientific of you. Uh... <laughs> Alright, eat your bow tie right that now. Is clearly a statement of hyperbole. I very much like this bow tie, and I will not eat it even if doing so wins an argument. And what if Shelda can help? <laughs> If Shelda knows the secret of the shrink spice, I will eat my bow tie. We, we, we just Daddy went over well, this. Since you clearly won't stop pestering me about this, let us go see Shelda. Oh, One boy. sense is the reek of a foul presence. Oh my goodness, these Cease two. Cease your hostilities, Shelda. I am here on business. I've been informed that you may possess a rudimentary understanding of phytochemical reactions, which I am in need of. <gasps> Strike the stars from the sky! The Wicked One has come to me for guide. Oh my goodness. But surely one's ancient ways are far too primitive compared to the miracles of modern science. I do not appreciate your sarcasm. If you do not wish to help me, then simply say so and be gone with you. One would never... It is one's path to offer guidance to all who seek it, no matter how undeserving they may be. <laughs> Very well. Uh. Then I require an analysis of the shrink spice. Tell me what is in it, and be quick about it. Please. Hmm. Ah, yes. A poultice made in the herbological traditions of the mother. <laughs> Though its purpose I cannot condone. If that is what you desire, then one will enter the old factory <laughs> realm to find old the answers realm. you seek. You better what? sniff it. Don't sniff. I know that. <laughs> <sighs> so many subtle aromas. Witch hazel, cinnamon, uh, black tea, each a natural remedy for inflammation. And among these astringents, <coughs> oil of vitriol. Oil of vitriol? That's sulfuric acid, a common but powerful desiccant. That certainly explains the burning sensation. <laughs> Floofy, did you tell the journalist to throw acid at you? <laughs> well, this has been surprisingly not a waste of time. I am going to leave now. I may call on your services again. And you're welcome. Uh... Alright, that was, that was pretty funny. I like how the whole time channel was just hanging out back here watching. <laughs> uh, hey, Floofty. Chandler wants to talk to you. Oh, I suppose it was only a matter of time. Tell Chandler I will be with him shortly. <sighs> Are we here to speak ill of my brother? I will gladly go first. Complaint one of 294. <laughs> no, no, that's not why I asked you here. But I do want to talk about Snorpy. He wasn't like this when we were kids, right? I mean, he wasn't always so on edge, was he? Snorpington has always had his imagination and his moral compass. But no, I suppose he's gotten markedly more distraught since our project's dissolution. What happened between you two? I mean, I heard some of it from him, but I always wanted to hear your side too. And... Snorpy doesn't really like me talking to you. Oh, I'm aware. 
I have a pile of threatening letters to that effect. <laughs> However, I will gladly take this opportunity to set the record straight. We were working together on a government-funded research project. Advanced prosthetics that are ten times stronger than an ordinary grumpus. But our dear Snorpington discovered that the government had less than savory plans for that technology. Sounds about Despite right. Despite my protestations, he tried to make those plans public knowledge. Well, yeah, I don't blame him. Even you got to admit, that's pretty jacked up, dog. Am I the world's only optimist? That technology would have saved lives. If it must either exist with some consequences or not exist at all, I think the choice is clear. <laughs> Easy to say when you aren't the one living with the consequences. Yeah, <laughs> where did you come from? <laughs> Shoo! <laughs> Unfortunately, Snorpington agreed with you. He tried to play whistleblower, but before he could make a sound, we were both fired. And after that, there was a campaign to slander both of us, to discredit any allegations he might still make. So, there really was a conspiracy against you two? <laughs> if you must call it that. But only the most boring sort with paperwork and lawsuits. Still, that means it's not all in his head. Don't mistake justification for reason. Snorpicton has moved well beyond the realities of our situation. All right, Flifty. Thanks for telling me all that. Mm, happy to have enlightened you. Honestly, I expected this conversation to involve more shouting and headlocks. <laughs> no, not this time. We're cool. But hey, we should talk more often. And maybe I can show you how to headlock me. Perhaps. <laughs> but for now, my work beckons. Uh, Chan was such a goober. Alright. Whee! Look at this weird bowl. How are you three kinds of chocolate at once? Ah, whatever. Hey, Trephany. Uh, any luck with the rubble? Oh, it's not going too good. I'm starting to worry I might never see the inside of this temple. Maybe we should ask for help. <laughs> All right, let's ask each of these. Knowing them, they'd go and whip up some chemical that dissolves rocks and only takes three-fourths of their blood to make. <laughs> it's safer for them if I don't ask. <laughs> uh, maybe Shelda? Uh, could be, but I don't know that I need even more riddles to solve. Besides, I've heard the sounds her back makes. She could really use a lie down. <laughs> Maybe Chan, though. I don't know. Maybe he could. But if I put him in any danger, Snorpy's gonna hear about it. And then I'll hear about it every day for the rest of my life. Alright, so how about if we all, you know, work together? Oh, I was afraid you'd say that. <laughs> sure, teamwork would really help out here. But those grumps can't go more than an hour without starting a big fight. And I, uh, I just freeze up. Aww. You know, I'm an expert in my field and all, but I'm not a management type. It's better if I just concentrate on my work and let them cool off on their own. You really don't think they can cooperate? To be honest, no, I don't. These kind of spats, they just fester and grow, and before you know it, civilization collapses. <laughs> Some folks just don't get along. Some mysteries just go unsolved. There's nothing I can really do about it. But at least we gave it a shot. I'll see you back at camp. Hmm. Alright, well, I get the feeling that once we get Triffany to talk to Chan, though... Well, where'd she go? That was weird. <laughs> once we get Tiffany, Triffany to talk to Chan, though, that, uh... From there, we'll be able to convince her that we can get them all to work together. Whee! There she is. So, uh, Chan Lo wants to talk to you. Oh, I'm happy to chat with Chan Lo. Let's meet by the campfire. What's going on, Chan Lo? Triffany. 
You know about history and, like, ancient societies and stuff. Shelda said Snorpy's lost in a maze of delusion. But what if it's not a delusion? What if there really is a Grumpinati? Well, I've done some research on my own, and uh, near as I can tell, there's no such thing. At least not in the way you see in the movies. There's no shadowy cabal secretly in control of the world. <laughs> Real conspiracies can happen. And heck, there was an old literary society called the Grumpinati, but aside from the name, it's not at all what Snorpy talks about. Are you sure? I mean, I've seen Snorpy's charts, and they kind of make sense. Kinda is the important word here, though. Look, there are points of data on that chart that are real, but it's all those strings between them that are made up. No, those are real. We got them from Gramble. <laughs> oh, Chandlo, that's not... Uh, what I... Bup, 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 let it go, my child. Point is, Snorpy might be a talented engineer, but he's no historian, and he's certainly not immune to bias, you know? Yeah, I guess you're right. I hope you're right. Thanks for talking to me, Triff Dog. No problem! And if you ever want to know more about failed conspiracies throughout history, you know where to find me. Right. Well then. Oh, whoops. I should maybe not set myself on fire. First off. Okay. Second off. Suck Chandler. Uh, so what are we gonna do? Bro, I feel like there's a huge weight on top of me, and it's not the kind I can lift. Snorpy never would have come to Snack Tooth if I didn't push him into it. All I do now is make him exercise and ignore all the stuff I don't understand. Shelda's right. I don't know enough to really help him. And thinking I do is only making it worse. I'm gonna stay here. Until everybody's ready, anyway. I need some time to just... think. I mean, yeah. Understandable. So, uh... I guess now we progress the main quest. Hey, Trephony. Everybody finished investigating. Oh, that's nice. Well, if that's the case... Then I'm gonna go gather everybody up so we can share what we all learned. This might be a long meeting, so let me know if you've still got some business to do. Oh. Hmm. Business, huh? I assume that means that this is maybe going to take us to the end of this, uh... To the end of the DLC. So, let's double check, make sure there isn't anything of interest I missed. Let's see. I'm not too concerned about, like, catching one of each of the... each of the bug snacks. Uh, there wasn't anything down there. Been over there. Right. The most interesting thing is that key we found over here. Can't like I'm sure I could get back up there again, but I don't really need to. There was a key over here. Let's uh I've got that in my inventory someplace, right? Yeah, it's a clue. Not that clue. This clue. Strange triangular key. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm relatively sure I haven't missed wherever to plug it in, though, so... That means it's probably... somewhere in that temple. Which we gotta progress the plot to get to. So... Alright, Trippany, let's go for it. Oh, 
That's nice. Well, if that's the case, this might be a long yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. All right, everybody. Team meeting. Thanks for meeting, everybody. It seems like we've all had an interesting time so far, yeah? Indeed. I must say, I'm eager to see what grisly curiosities you've found in your studies, Professor. Oh, ah, uh, I better not go first. I'm sure I'll just ramble on all night. Say, Chandlo, did you ever find a way to get bigger? Not physically, nah. But I did grow in, like, a metaphorical way. Sorry I couldn't help more with the science. Do not apologize, child. Knowing oneself is the most valuable kind of knowing. Hmm. Huh. And, <laughs> Shilda, what did you find out about Mother Nature, A? Eh? With some... <clears throat> additional insight one has learned that bug snacks are indeed children of the mother yet toxins still just as every fang dripping with venom every flower glistening with poisonous sap a reminder that nature can be very unkind grump yeah nature's hardcore <laughs> uh, like some the ancients may have worshipped the mother, but her light was lost on them. The tooth remains broken, and one believes that this was not the work of the divine. The truth of its destruction and rebirth remains shrouded. That is so interesting. Oh, I swear, we've got to talk about history soon, Sheldon. But first, let us discuss my findings. With some <clears throat> minor assistance, I was able to reproduce the newly discovered shrink spice. After some experimenting, I've learned that these big bug snacks are actually small by default. Something about the snack matter on this island causes them to enlarge. I believe I understand the how, but I've yet to discover the why. There is no why, Flufty. Things simply are. Using my words against me. <laughs> Invent your own wisdom, you sagacious charlatan. I would, if you ever listened to anybody but yourself. <laughs> Burn. Oh, please, let's not start. <laughs> <laughs> What's that happening now? Ha! Oh, you missed it, Drift Dog! Flufty and Shelda teamed up to brain slam this mystery! They... they have? Shocking, I know. The things I do for science. Yes, the path is ever winding. But one apologizes for the distraction, as it is time to feast on the fruits of the historian's knowledge. Oh, well, hmm. I... I've certainly learned a lot, <laughs> but... There are still plenty of mysteries abound, and I think it's possible we'll find all the answers inside the temple. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a collapsed hallway there, and I've got no way to get through. I believe we may have a solution for that. My combined research with Shelda has produced something quite useful indeed. Oh, yeah! Floofty asked me to build Don't a- Don't ruin the surprise. Trust me, it will be very entertaining. Oh dear. Ooh, a more ominous sentence has <laughs> never been uttered. <laughs> well, that all sounds good to me. Let's head to the temple. Well, there it is. Think he can do something about this debris? No problem, Triftog. Floofty, let's get the thing ready. Of course, the thing. The thing. You, place your buggy ball on the ground in front of us. Uh, okay. Simple enough. Good. Now turn around. And no peeking. We wouldn't want to ruin the surprise, would we? Alright. Why am I the I only one who has to be surprised? Out of the ball. Slippery little thing. Keep it still or the needle will. Oh what the grub is that stuff? You'll live. There we go. And... Oh dear. <laughs> That's mildly Whoa! concerning. Don't let go! Oh no you don't! Gotcha! 
gotcha. <laughs> You may now turn around. All right, bro. Feast your eyes on the new and improved Big Buggy Ball! What? <laughs> I wanted to call it the Engorged Strabiform or Bacula Encasement, but we can't always get what we want. With this much snack power, we can tear down that wall! Oh, my goodness, these goobers. All right. Well. Go for it. <laughs> Ooh, we finally got a way in! Nice teamwork, everybody. Problem solved. You are all very welcome. Oh, yeah! Big Strabby! Center <laughs> yourself, Chad Blow. This is not a creation to be celebrated, but to be feared. Yeah, but we did do pretty good, huh? <laughs> Ooh, I could ask a million questions about how that works. But first things first, let's poke around in these ruins. Ah, uh, ridiculous. Hey, hey, Stravi. Hey, chill. 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 Uh, uh, whack. Okay. Alright, can I? Nope. Alright, we'll just leave you there then. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So first off, let's talk to everybody. Or nope. Where was I? Guess not. Catch you later. All right. First off, let's scan everything like it wants us to. Sealed well. Great big hole in the center of the room, completely sealed. Hmm. Mother statue. Huge statue of Mother Nature watches over the chamber. Oh dear. Mural depicting a grumpus being sacrificed to a great maw. Yeah, those are uh those are pretty clearly bug snacks down there. More shrink spice? Temple mural depicting ancient grumpuses readying a ceremony, and what looks to be a uh, an eclipse. Hmm. And a horned statue, utterly destroyed. Was this the leader of the ancient grumpuses? That was the uh, statue where we found the key. Hmm. Hey, Trifony. I got a feeling this is a bad place. That's an understatement. <laughs> I told you that the Stone Grumps did ritual sacrifice, yeah? Well, this was the place. They'd throw Grumpuses down that pit, offering them up to whatever's down there. Hmm. Is that why the bug snacks here get so big? Because the soil's been uniquely fertilized? <laughs> That's one way to say it. Come check this out! Oh dear. I found this machine thing buried here. Kinda reminds me of Snorpy's lunch pads. Indeed. Yet large enough to launch something of significant size. In fact, it seems to be perfectly suited for the big buggy ball. I believe an experiment is in order. Uh Hmm. I am mildly concerned about how this is going to turn out. But, uh, okay. Whoa! Sprout got locked in there! Uh, now what? Hmm. There seems to be a triggering mechanism on the back. It may require a choke from the snack grappler to activate. I mean, yeah, clearly. It's, it's... See, it's got the, it's got the symbol on it. Why am I the only one who notices these things? Anywho. Oh, that can't be a good sign. What did you all do? <laughs> it's not like 
Ready to go. Just emanating from the sealed pit. Ready yourselves. A grave danger approaches. Bros. I get the feeling I'm about to get dunked on again. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Cheddarboard or Rex. Huh. King of the Jungle rolls its shadow orbs as an attack. It's lid protects its shoes back. Are you prepared for a monster challenge? Or you'll get jacked until you're black and blue. Good old good old luck. Amazing. Alright. So, I gotta figure out how to deal with this. But first off, can I just take your lid? No. What? Oh, but I can probably. Oh no. Oh, so I gotta get these guys in here. Buggy ball. Unless. Oh. Oh. I see what we're doing here. No, come Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on. All right. Hey, give him back. Oh, I probably gotta have you. No, he can get up there. He's fine. Still too big for me to catch. Here, let me. I gotta hit you with another one. Head. Yeah! I don't know if it's the adrenaline talking, but that's the best bug snack I've ever had! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's check if everybody's okay. Phew! Good to see we're all in one piece. That was the biggest snack I've ever seen. Nothing like a giant monster fight to get the blood pumping! <laughs> Speak for yourself. One is far too old for this. Agreed. But now that the danger is past, I'd like to revisit what precisely all of this means. You know, judging by the temple roof, the collapses, the crater... I mean, it's just a thought. But I think ages ago something big came out of that pit. Well, yeah. We just saw the Cheddar Bortle <laughs> come out of there. <laughs> If the Cheddar Bottle could be handled by one mediocre journalist, hey. I doubt it could destroy an entire civilization. Yeah, I'm thinking much bigger and much nastier. Something we can hardly even imagine. The wrath of Mother Nature, Or perhaps, the wrath of those sacrificed. Amusing as this grisly history is, 
None of that explains why the island suddenly rose from the sea. Maybe it wanted to be found. Uh, islands don't generally want things, generally. Chanzo. Unless those lost and vengeful lie dormant still beneath our feet. You know, I think I've learned all I can <laughs> for now. What say we call it quits today? For our own good. All yes. right, sounds good to me. Fun. Okay, so do you want to come back to the raft with us or keep exploring? Uh, I want to look around a little Alrighty. more. Just be sure to meet us by the raft when you're ready. I've got that key and nowhere to use it. Anyhow, come here. Double check. Hmm. Hmm. Well, there definitely isn't any place here to use the key. Alright, well. I think that's enough for today's episode. We'll come back next time and I'll try to figure out where that key goes and whether or not I can find it. Uh, we'll maybe go through the ending again, see if anything's different now that we've done the DLC. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, all the other usual YouTube garbage, and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody!